Welcome again to DPV Technology. In this video, I will show you how to turn on or off my LED using Arduino with Android Mobile Pro HC05 Bluetooth model. I will also provide you all the connection diagram and codes with explanation. This is the Bluetooth module. And this is the Arduino. You see, when I send one from my Android mobile to the, yeah, you see, to the Arduino, then the LED is turned on. Now, when I send zero here, you see, the LED is turned off. So for this project, you need one big LED. You can use a smaller one also. HC05 Bluetooth module. 3 1 kilo ohm resistors. Male to male jumper wires. Or also you can use connecting general wire also. And one breadboard. Arduino you know and connectors. This is the connection diagram. One important thing is that you have to connect TX of the module to RX of the Arduino and RX of the module to TX of the Arduino through these two resistors. These resistors are Connector in voltage divider configuration in order to prevent the module from burning because the RX pin of the module has a rated voltage of 3.3 volt. Now I will show how to download the apps. First go to Play Store and type Bluetooth terminal. So, and uh, where is my play store play store here's my play store now in the play store search bluetooth terminal yeah this is bluetooth terminal okay you see you see i have already downloaded these apps these apps now then you have to click on the apps then here you can see yeah here you can see this is not connected click here and click click here here and click connect a device now you will be able to see hc05 bluetooth module or a new bluetooth device address here you see this is hc05 click here and you see this is connected now when you connect for the first time they may ask to use password by default it is 1234 or 0000. Now send one from mobile and see. You see, I am going to send one. Let's see, the LED is now off. I am going to send one. Okay, one. You see, LED is turned on. Again, I am going to send zero and off. Okay, now. In some mobile devices, you cannot directly see the AC module inside the apps. Here, here, in some cases, you will not be able to see the AC module here in this case. So, then what you have to do first, you have to go to your Android setting and then you go to your Bluetooth setting and first you search there to pair your AC05 module here search search there okay and then 
and after pairing you go to this apps and connect okay this is the code section we have defined here integer led equal to 3 since we have connected the led to digital pin 3 of the arduino then we have defined the integer mobile data to store the data coming from the android in the void setup we have defined led as output pin that is pin number 3 here we have written digital write LED low to keep the LED off at the beginning. Next serial dot begin 9600 to see the to open the serial monitor in the Arduino IDE. In the void loop after we set mobile data equal to zero to clear the garbage value stored by the variable now we will check whether there is any value coming from the mobile by observing the serial buffer of the arduino by writing if serial dot available is greater than zero uh, this is a function serial dot available if there is any value then we first read and store the value in the variable mobile data by writing the code mobile data equal to serial dot read if mobile data equal to equal to one then the led should turn on so i am writing digital write led high and then serial dot print ln on to observe it in the serial monitor if mobile data equal to equal to zero then the led should turn off so i am writing digital write led low and then serial dot print ln off to observe in the serial monitor this is all about the code section one important thing during uploading is that during uploading the code is that you have to disconnect the TX and RX connection from module or you have to disconnect the TX and RX connection from the Arduino board after uploading the code you have to connect it otherwise compilation error will be there because during uploading these pins are busy to communicate with the pc so remember this so thank you for watching this video for more videos please subscribe to our channel and visit our official website www.dpvtechnology.wix.com india thank you